Well, here's my boat at this point. I have got the frame complete and ready for plywood. The 11 frames are made out of Douglas fir. The chine log and the shear clamp are southern yellow pine. And the Kilson is southern yellow pine. The stem is southern yellow pine with some uh, Douglas fir glued to the side of it. The stem was supposed to be 2 by 8 and I felt like that was a little bit those, those ferret edges at the front weren't quite enough to uh, to glue the panels to so I have glued a another piece of uh, fur to the side of it, a 2 by 4 and fared it out so now I have a full four and a half inches of glue and screw surface on the stem to get the front of my boat down good and tight. On frame 11 I had a little difficulty there's no uh, bail deck on frame 11 so the uh, there was nothing to hold the the uh, uprights the side frames out and they were collapsing and I was losing the curve on the front of the boat. It was running straight from, from frame 10 to the stem. So I added a stiff brace to hold it out. It's in there temporary. I will add a more permanent one once I get it turned over and know exactly where I can put it that it won't be in my way. I have gone back and mixed up some thickened epoxy and have filled all of my bad carpentry work up, sealed up all the, the holes that would have been ended up being behind the uh, plywood below the waterline. I overcut a lot of the uh, shine log slots out so I have filled all those back up with thickened epoxy thickened with uh, wood flour that I'm collected in my vacuum cleaner from the uh, fairing process I also made a few other little mistakes along the way on the uh, cutting of the slots for the, chine, the first chine log. I overcut them and I actually cut them at the wrong angle a little bit too. So I went in and added a uh, block on these three frames. That's frame two, three, and four. I cut a piece to fit perfectly over on my bandsaw of yellow pine and I cut it eight inches long so that when a screw went through it it wouldn't split and I glued it to the chine log and to the frame to uh, correct that little issue there. Sorry for the blur in there but I have uh, gone back and thick using thickened epoxy and have sealed up all of the the bad joinery around the boat and as you can see now it is ready for plywood I'm going to town tomorrow to get Douglas fir marine ply to put on it I had a little issue at the back with the uh, transom, the way the uh, pieces are just butt glued onto the 
two by eight that the motor is going to hang on. The tops aren't quite parallel, but when I build my uh, splash wheel, I'll keep, get everything straight. Been an interesting project so far. I got 84 hours in the frame at this point and about $300 in material.